What purpose does Mr. Gomez seek recognition? Strike the last word. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you. We were told we want to fix the problems, we would support this bill. The truth is, if we want to fix the problem, we would secure the border. You're creating, with this bill, more of a draw into this country. Bad enough you're talking about ending Title 42, which will add hundreds of thousands of people coming. It'll bring them coming quicker. But now we're told, and it really is analogous to, you, you're going to make the hole bigger in our boat, and we're going to fix it by having more efficient buckets to bail out the situation. It doesn't work that way. This bill will create even more money for the drug cartels to corrupt the government, corrupt local, state, federal government in Mexico. And now I'm finding out from law enforcement in Texas, they're setting up in Texas. We've heard that there's drug cartel employees all over the country. And the border patrolmen over the last several years, they say, you know, they call us the logistics. The drug cartels get people across the border, and then the federal, the U.S. government ships them to cities all over the country where the drug cartels want them to work so they can finish paying off the money they agreed to pay in order to come into the country illegally. You know, those who want to make this a Marxist totalitarian government, and there are plenty of them in this country, they know that first you destroy a knowledge of history, you create some chaos, and then just as Lenin did, couldn't have done it without Trotsky, but they come riding in and say, we're the answer, we will bring about peace, we'll get this under control. But in the chaos, it normally takes a totalitarian, dictatorial, no sir, uh, government in order to overcome the chaos that the Marxists created in order to get control. You know, I'm hearing from people all over the world, have been for some time, we see what you're doing and you're making matters worse in your country and we're getting desperate because all of us see and we know that when you lose your freedom in America, there will be no place left to go. You're the last place we can count on. And we see the world falling apart, and what are we going to do? We're going to process people more quickly. And I heard from uh, a union leader this morning here in D.C., and he was saying about the northern border that not only are we pulling our border patrolmen away from the southern border just to process people full time, now we're bringing them from the northern border, and we have hundreds of miles where there is no one, and our enemies know that, and drug cartels know that, and now it won't be long before the northern border is a big problem. Look, when you don't stop the flood but make the hole bigger, we're going to get to the place where it's irreparable and we're going to lose our country keep hearing from Democrats, gee, the, and I'm quoting, the last administration politicized and dismantled our immigration system. Well, they were securing the border, and they were doing so more effectively than anybody since I've been in Congress. The reason Mexico's not a top economy is the corruption from the drug cartels, and America is complicit, and we're complicit in sending the money to Mexico that is bringing drugs in that are killing tens of thousands of Americans every year. I mean, we're seeing this place fall apart, and you want to condemn us for saying, let's secure the border, and then we can fix the immigration system. 
That is the clear solution. And I hope you will join us in eventually coming around to securing the border. Yield back. Uh, for what purpose does Mr.